evaluate each integral by interpreting it in terms of areas okay so here the function is absolute value of x so if we graph absolute value of x we get a b okay, you can use your calculator and we are integrating from negative 2 to 1 so negative 2 so that goes here up to 2 because it's the absolute value of x so negative 2 is 2 and upper limit is 1 so it will be here 1 then this definite integral is in fact this this areas this area which is a triangle and this area which is also a triangle so this area is in fact sum of two areas of triangles so this one let's see this triangle so half times base which is two units long times height height is also two two to four divided by two or two can two so two plus how about this triangle that's half times base times height which is half two and one half that's the five halves or 2.5 units square units 2.5 that's it uh, let's go for number two here the function is x minus 2 uh, use the graphing calculator and graph or this is pretty much like x but the vertex is shifted shifted two units to the right so one two okay two and one two three four and we are integrating from one through four so one means here so we got this triangle three four here we got this bigger triangle so again this definite integral is just the sum of areas of these two triangles so smaller triangle half times base this is one height is also one so one half one half plus second triangle so half times base this is four up to four two height is two so two one half plus two that's the point five plus two point five or five halves okay that's the area or this definite integral now in part c uh, we have this function uh, you can graph y equals four minus x squared in your calculator or if you square both sides you get y squared equals 4 minus I'm just writing x for t which is same thing uh, x squared and bring this to the add x squared both sides we get x squared plus y squared equals 4 which is a circle standard based at 0 0 centered at 0 0 with radius 2 or you can simply graph this function in your calculator and you get just negative 2 2 2 okay so we have a semicircle here with radius 2 and we know that we know that area of a circle is pi times radius square in this case we we got only half so we need to multiply by half or same as divide by 2 so area uh, radius is 2 in this case so 2 is square so this is 1 half times pi r is square r is 2 is square 4 and this 2 goes 4 twice so 2 pi so the answer is 2 pi okay final